home to be a winner, you may consider boosting its curb appeal. Our partner in Home Improvement Insider Adam Helfman of HireItDone.com suggests a good place to start is dressing up your driveway. When the weather's ripe, homeowners love to work on the curb appeal of their house. Whether it's a new front door, perhaps shutters, a roof, or just a great paint job. But today, we're going to talk about curb appeal with a new concrete driveway. So this homeowner decided to tear out their whole entire driveway. And in order for them to make their curb appeal, they decided to do concrete in the center. And then on the edge, as you can see this trail here, they're doing stamp concrete that'll make the whole driveway pop. Right now we're in the middle of the preparation phase. And what they've done is they put down about four inches of 21 AA stone. And once they lay that out, they need to compact it with this machine and that'll give it a nice solid surface for the concrete to stick to. One thing you gotta make sure of when putting in a brand new driveway is if you have automatic sprinklers, you've gotta mark them and you've gotta protect them. Also, another tip right here is for future growth, Put in a PVC pipe underneath, take a picture with your phone and email it to yourself. And the reason why is because once the concrete's there, you might forget where it is. We're at the end of this driveway and this is called the approach. And typically you put six inches of concrete at the end here because it meets the street and that's for extra strength. What you have here is expansion paper. You may have seen this around your house, but what they use this for is when they pour the concrete and it touches against the foundation, it gives a little bit of space and it allows the concrete to move independently of the foundation. That way, it won't crack. We're ready to pour concrete and one of the tricks we're using here today is we actually dyed the concrete before it comes out. So it's in the mix right now. We've added the color. Wait till it comes out. So what they're doing here is they're putting the concrete into this sidewalk and as you can see there's this welded wire mesh right here that goes in the bottom third of the concrete and what that does is if the concrete ever cracks it prevents the concrete crack from spreading. So when they're ready to stamp the concrete this is what they use a real rubber impression kind of looks like a cookie cutter this gets placed on top of the concrete. So when he puts the stamp on top of the concrete, he gives it a little pat. And what that does is it ensures that the stamp gets into the concrete. Then he lets it sit for a minute, and when he pulls it up, you should have a perfect look. It's always amazing to me. Our expert Adam Helfman is here. This You're saying this is what that actually would look like. It dries yeah. lighter? So this is the actual color that we used on wow. the shoot. But yeah, it dries a little bit. When it dries, it becomes a little bit lighter. So talk about uh, stamp concrete. What kind of questions should we be asking about this product? Okay, so stamp concrete is just just like regular concrete uh, that they actually put the impression on it for the mm -hmm. stamp. So of course, everyone in Michigan is always worried, is my concrete gonna crack? Right. You know, so the key here is the placement of the stamps and the contractor that you're using mm -hmm. must be experienced in it. Because you can go to the concrete dis uh, distributor and get the stamps and do it yourself. Sure. Not really what you need to do. So and also the, the color is a big deal. I mean, when that's getting yeah. mixed in the truck, that's not just for the faint of yeah, heart. You, you know? got to have experience with <laughs> yeah. putting the color in. All so. right. So is this a one day job? Can that be done in one day basically? Yeah. Well, you know, typically yes. However, if it's a bigger job or if you're doing multiple colors. A lot of tear out. Yeah. Or a lot of tear out. Yeah. It could take a couple of days. And then the other thing is, as you know, Chuck, you got to watch the weather. Yeah. You don't want to pour in a downpour. Right. <laughs> you know, you have a very smooth driveway, right? That's right. All right. So talk about this now because you're saying this, this kind of concrete is making a comeback. Yeah. So this is called exposed aggregate. Uh -huh. And uh, this is very, very popular in the 50s. Yeah. And so now it's making a big comeback. And what's unique about the exposed aggregate is when the professional concrete layer orders it from the mix, they put the aggregate in the mix. Most people thought, oh, you add it afterwards. That's what I thought. Yeah, so what they do is they put the concrete down, they, they spread it out, and then they spray a solution on it that dissolves the first quarter inch. And then you power wash it afterwards, and that exposes the aggregate. Wow. And then you put a sealer on it. Yeah. Easy to 
Uh, if there's ever cracks, it's easy when to fill. When you said 50s, I immediately go to the bungalows, the 1950s brick bungalows. A lot of uh, sidewalks were that, right? Yeah, and yeah. everyone likes this. But again, super popular today. All right, so tell everybody, remind everybody about this great giveaway that you've got going yeah. on for a new roof. So Hired Done is giving back. We, we're giving away a free roof. And uh, it's a complete roof replacement uh, for any veteran uh, from Rapid Roofing. And the shingles are from our company called Malarkey. Um, and we want to register. Just go to the Live in the D Facebook page or click on Detroit.com where you'll also find the contest rules. you got to be a former member of the Armed Forces, the United States Army, Navy, Air Force, Marines, National Guard, or Coast Guard. And the contest ends tomorrow night, Friday at midnight. Okay. And, of course, you can learn more about the roof giveaway and get all your questions about hiring contractors today right after Live in the D because we're going to be on Local 4 and ask, ask, answering all your questions on our Facebook Live. So that's going to be on Local 4's Facebook page live. Good luck to all the vets out there. That's a great thing. Malarkey. Yeah. Thanks yeah. to Malarkey. It's not Malarkey. <laughs> it's yeah. a great shingle. <laughs> uh, also